here is my story of how I manifested my dream business and made six figures in just six months. I share how I used all 10 steps to manifestation to make this happen. I want to share my own story with you about how I manifested six figures within six months in my very first business. Hopefully this story will inspire you as to how quickly your business can take off when you get serious about it. As I'm telling this story, I also want to share how I used each of the 10 steps of the manifestation process to manifest my dream business. And if you haven't already heard about the 10 step manifestation process, go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com and join my free manifestation challenge as this will guide you through all 10 steps so that you can get this kind of success for yourself. And at the time, I hadn't even created my 10 step manifestation framework. So it's only now that I look back and I realize that I nailed every point of the process. And that's the reason why this business did so well. Today, you will understand how to practically use all 10 steps in the manifestation process to manifest your dream business. My name is Kath Kyle and I help content creators and change makers manifest business success through spirituality, self-belief and strategy. I help you master your marketing, manifestation and money mindset. So how I manifested my dream business. Here is my story. And it all started when I just had my very first baby. So the plan for me was not to work and to look after my baby full time. And at the start of this process, when my baby was first born, I was really enjoying the new world of all things baby, going to all the baby groups and chatting about babies with all the other mo mothers constantly. And I was really content where I, I didn't feel any desperation for things to be radically different. And this is step number one of the manifestation process to feel a sense of peace about where you are right now. And although I did really enjoy all the baby things in my life, after a while, my brain started to get a little bit bored of only doing baby stuff all the time. And in the world of babies, you don't actually exist as a person. You're only there to talk about your child and to care for their every need. You forget that you are a person in your own right with your own desires and your own passions. And you tend to have many conversations that go something like this. Oh, how's your little one today? Is she sleeping any better? Or was that colic that she had last week? Oh, that's a lovely baby bib. Where did you get that? And I longed for something to really get my teeth stuck into, for me to feel like I was contributing to society and part of something that was bigger than my own little bubble. And I still wanted to care for my baby and enjoy spending time with her. But I also wanted to do something where I felt like I was achieving something as my Enneagram personality type is type three, which is the achiever. And I really wanted to be able to earn good money working from home on my own terms while doing something that I was really passionate about and helping other people to transform their lives in some way. This was a desire that had suddenly been placed unexpectedly on my mind. Recognizing this desire was me tapping into my intuition. And this is not something that just popped up straight away. I had been wanting to do a business for maybe about a year or at least half a year. And I'd had, you know, I had looked into it and somebody had suggested, why don't you do a business? It popped into my mind and I thought, yeah, I could do that. But then I was busy um, having accidents, moving to another area, trying to get my hand working again after my finger injury, having a baby, getting to grips with my new baby. So um, starting a business wasn't first and foremost on my mind, but there it was. It popped into my mind again. And 
one day as I was making a batch of green smoothie in my blender, I suddenly had a great idea. I had previously lost 56 pounds with green smoothies and I had recovered from debilitating chronic fatigue syndrome and I just realised how cool it would be to help other people get the same kind of results. So could this be the project that would provide some excitement in my life? Could it really be possible to make money helping people to transform their lives with green smoothies? And I mulled it over for a while and I decided that yes, this is what I desired more than anything. So I started a blog and it was such a crazy time to start a new business when you have a new baby, but I felt really excited about it. And this was me taking inspired action. I had never started a business before. I had no clue what I was doing or how I was going to make money. I didn't wait until I knew exactly how everything was going to happen. I just took action straight away and I did what I felt drawn to do. Inspired action is actually step number eight of the manifestation process. And we don't always go through all of the steps of the manifestation process in the order that I've presented them in. Success isn't linear and we have various lessons to learn along the way. So it's perfectly natural to jump around with the steps to manifestation. Taking immediate action is in my true nature. So I just went for it as it felt like totally the right thing to do at the time. Action is actually something that we should be doing at every step along the way, but the type of action that we will be doing will change. I started a blog sharing green smoothie recipes to help people reach their ideal weight and increase their energy naturally. And I knew if I could just get people to hear my messages and try my recipes, that I could help them transform in the same way that I did. And I was so excited about my mission. My blog was called Green Thickies and Green Thickies are a type of green smoothie that is a complete meal drink. And it's got enough calories that it fills you up from one meal to another, provides all of your nutrients, tastes delicious, and exa is exactly the right number of calories to help people to lose weight. So I had my own concept and my blog was called and still is called Green Thickies. So at first, when I first started Green Thickies, I was hardly getting any visitors to my website each month and I didn't really know what I was doing. It was all completely new to me. I'd never had a blog or a business. All I was doing was sharing my recipes online and I just wanted to help people, but my efforts were going nowhere. All I got back in return was a wall of silence. Maybe you've been there. I have been there. It feels like a million times. In the blogging world, we say it was crickets when things are so silent that you can literally hear the crickets. So I got crickets and I didn't have any kind of plan. I was just creating content and I felt totally out of my depth with a new business and Creating a successful business felt really daunting as I didn't have a clue what I was doing. I also didn't feel like a successful businesswoman as I was in the world of baby milk and baby poop, nursing clothes, crying, sleepless nights, and I didn't exactly have a massive amount of confidence in my ability to create, create a successful business with no experience and a new baby to look after. And I literally knew nobody else who was doing it. So I had no support network whatsoever. And I wasn't making any money at all. I had no job, no income, no nothing. We lived totally on my husband's salary and money was really tight. We didn't even have enough money to go on vacation, buy new clothes or buy any luxuries at all. Having a baby is really expensive. If you've had a baby, you'll know just how much money they cost. And we were wondering how we were going to be able to buy everything that the baby needed, let alone have any way to treat ourselves. We lived in a very cold, gray climate, and I felt like we were never going to be able to afford to go abroad and get any warm sunshine again, as this was way out of our budget, flying to a another country. 
I had always earned my own money throughout my life, so I found it really difficult not to be earning my own money and I desperately wanted to contribute to the family, fa family finances and afford a few luxuries for ourselves. I just wanted to feel like I was creating something and contributing something to both society and my family. And I know that having a baby is a massive contribution to the world and your family. And I'm not saying that if you just decide to have a baby that you're not contributing anything, but that's just how I felt with my personality type. type. That's just how I felt at the time. And I just had a desire to do this. And if you've had that desire yourself, you'll just, you'll know exactly what I'm talking about. I just knew that I could find a way because I had this burning passion inside of me. So for months, I spent my evenings blogging instead of watching the TV and I really enjoyed it, but I knew that I wouldn't be able to keep this up indefinitely without earning any money to be able to slow down a bit and hire somebody to take some of the workload off me. So I started to look into how to make money from this blog and I got some great ideas. The first thing I did was to set some goals and intentions for my business. So I set a 10 year goal to earn millions from my business. I had no idea what was realistic at the time. So I just thought, why not just, just dream really big? What have I got to lose by thinking big? I also set more short term goals about what I wanted to create and offer for sale in my business. So the first thing I did was to create a seven day detox, helping people drop a dress size with green smoothies. Other types of goals I had were to push myself out of my comfort zone by finding business buddies and holding myself accountable to my own success. The process of setting goals is step number two in the manifestation process, which is to decide what you want. I set these three types of goals without even realizing at the time. I call these three goals my 3G goals, and they are gratitude goals, which are revenue goals, giving goals, which is what you are going to do to help people, what you are going to create, and growing goals, which are how are you going to grow into a successful version of yourself so that you can achieve your other goals. After I set these goals, I created an intention statement. And this intention statement is something that I now call my stamp statement. And at the time, I didn't have a name for this, but basically it's something that you read every day to stamp your brain with your own success. My stamp statement had on it my 10 year gratitude goal, a very general giving goal overview and some affirmations and statements of intention, trust and belief in this manifesting. And I read this out loud twice a day for six months and it was so powerful for transforming my state of mind and getting me to think really big. Creating this stamp statement incorporates step number three, which is intent, which is to intend what you want. Step number four, which is clarity, which is to script your desires as if they've already happened. So write down what you want as if it's already happened. Step number five, which is to believe in the process and this helped to reprogram my subconscious mind so that I believed that my success was inevitable and step number seven which is trust trusting that your manifestation will happen that you will realize your desires so as you can see I had stumbled upon this very powerful manifestation method that met so many of the steps to manifestation and I was using this very powerful tool on a daily basis. The best thing is that it really doesn't take too long to read your stamp statement every day. So now you might be able to see why I am in love with the use of this statement and because it just ticks so many of the boxes. The stamp statement is something that I teach in great detail in both my stamp goals book and my dream business blueprint course. And I come at it from different angles in each place. 
And something that I need to mention at this point is step number six, which is detaching from the desperation of your outcome. And when I think back to the first six months of my first business, I can honestly say that I was not attached or desperate about any outcomes at all and therefore didn't need to detach from anything. I think this is one of the reasons why my success came so quickly because once you fix your gaze upon the desires that have been placed on your heart and you don't have any blockages that are stopping you from going for it, success can come faster than you would ever think possible. And I definitely developed a negative mindset after a few years of having this business. And at that time, I did have to learn how to reject my disbelief. But at the start of my business, my energy was so pure that I literally didn't have anything holding me back. People often say, what could you achieve if you believed that you would 100% do whatever you wanted? And that was the state of mind that I was in at the time. I was so on fire and nothing could stop me. This is proof that when you let go of your blockages, your life can transform in front of your very eyes so quickly. When you look at some people who seem to have success really fast, it's likely because they are just not blocking themselves. It's something that I've sim since reflected a lot on and I've tried to get back to that innocent, I can do anything kind of attitude because it really works. Because it was my first business, I was so grateful for all of my results. So gratitude came so easily to me. The first few people that ever came and read my blog, I was so amazed that other people from the other side of the world had found me and found my content and I was blown away when I started getting emails and comments on my blog thanking me for changing their lives. And I remember my very first paycheck. I received $30 in one month from Google AdSense for putting banner ads up on my blog. And that first month that I ever got money from my business was life changing for me. It just felt so magical that I could do what I loved and type words on my screen and I would actually be paid for it. $30 was actually a lot of money for us at the time and it really made a big difference to what we could buy that month because we literally didn't have any spare money at all and I was overcome with gratitude for that money. Gratitude is step number nine of the manifestation process and I was overflowing with it. After a few years my gratitude completely dried up and that's when my business success plummeted. So I know how powerful gratitude is when it comes to manifesting success. Around the same time, I also came across some advice that was telling me I needed to plan my ideal business. They said that I needed a plan so that I could stay focused on what I was supposed to be doing. And initially I dismissed the idea of planning my business because I thought it was something that only big corporate businesses needed to do. Stay-at-home mums with recipe blogs didn't need to get so serious, did they? But I realised that there were different types of plans. Some were long and complicated and other plans could be very simple and tailored exactly to your own needs. So eventually I came to the conclusion that for me to have any kind of growth, I knew I had to make some kind of plan to make that happen. If I wanted success, I had to plan for it. I actually found it quite hard to make the decision to create a plan for my business because it meant that I was actually committing to my business. I was mapping out what I wanted my business to look like and once I'd had that thought, I wouldn't be able to say that I didn't know what I needed to do. Making a plan meant I was getting serious about my business. I knew that I'd probably want to change my mind in the future, but at least I would have a direction for the moment. I knew I didn't want to go and get funding for my business, so I didn't need an official business plan. And the thought of that was actually very scary. 
but I just wanted something that would get my own mind in the right place about the future of my business. I had very limited time because I was busy looking after my baby and part of me was telling me that my time was better spent creating content than on creating a plan that wouldn't have any immediate benefit. But I knew deep down that it was the right thing to do to map out my dreams, otherwise they were just never going to happen. So I sat down and created a simple dream business blueprint, I sat down at my kitchen table because I didn't even have an office space at the time and I was working at my kitchen table and I projected into the future how much money I wanted to make, which was a lot, <laughs> and what lifestyle I wanted. I wanted to be able to take vacations and spend time with my kids whenever I wanted and what I wanted to do in return for the money, which was to sell meal plans and recipe books. And once I'd created this simple plan, it changed everything for my mindset because now I was daydreaming about the future and it really started to change the way I saw my business. It was no longer just a blog. It was now a six figure business. Looking back now, this plan that I made for myself was very similar to a manifestation technique called scripting. Scripting is where you write down what you want to happen in the future as if it's already happened. I had created such a detailed blueprint of my business that I had scripted the future success of my business and everything that I wrote down on my plan ended up coming true. When you plan, or you script the details of your business, this is when you get extreme clarity around what you want to manifest. Getting clarity is step number four in the manifestation process. Having this detailed plan helped me to take my business seriously and it enabled me to live my purpose and focus on my mission every day. Living your purpose means you are receiving your manifestation and this is step number 10 of the manifestation process. So now I've shown you how I followed all 10 steps in the manifestation process, what were my results? So I began to check my traffic levels every day and I began working on some ways to monetize my business. I kept creating content, but now I had a new method because of the plans I had created. I set new intentions to create regular and good quality content that was really going to help people solve their problems. And I carried on with this new level of commitment and certainty about my future and this is what happened. Very soon my traffic exploded and I was getting around 2,000 people every single day visiting my blog and from there it just kept rising exponentially until it reached a peak of over 800,000 people in one month which happened a few years later. And as my traffic was so high, I was making really good money from having banner ads on my website. I also promoted products that people would need for their smoothie recipes, ingredients and equipment. And I was getting a lot of commissions from that. That's called affiliate marketing. And then I ended up launching my first product and I started with a seven day detox and I sold hundreds of copies that same month that I released it. My sales from that continued to rise exponentially too. So I didn't have a period of time in this first business where I had a launch that failed. I didn't have any failures at the start of my business that I can remember. I've since had lots of failures, but when I first started this business, a lot of people say that success can't come straight away. And believe me, it did. It came straight away. My first launch was absolutely massive. And in just six months, all of a sudden, I was making a six figure revenue. Isn't that incredible? So the first thing we did was we booked a trip to Greece to get some warm sunshine and I was over the moon that we could go and buy new clothes for all of us and eat out in restaurants whenever we liked and suddenly we felt very rich. My success didn't stop there. My income went up and up 
and our lifestyle changed beyond all recognition. And this is what happens when you change your mindset and allow yourself to think big about your business. It can happen a lot faster than you could have ever imagined. And that's because you changed what you imagined. You're no longer thinking about your business as a small business. You're dreaming about it being a big business. You know that old saying that people have that most small businesses fail in the first year? Well, this is my take on that. Don't start a small business. Aim to start a big business and then you'll get big results. Yes, you start small, but if you have a big business in your mind, then that is exactly what you'll have. And once you allow yourself to dream, At the same time as taking action towards your dream, your dream actually becomes a reality. And my story makes it sound like everything always went perfectly for me, but it wasn't always the case. Over the last 10 years, I have started many businesses. Some have been equally as successful and others never even got off the ground and didn't make any money, didn't have uh, achieve any audience and were a complete failure because I gave up on them. And it took me a really long time to realise that the reason my businesses had succeeded or failed was purely down to whether or not I had planned for the success of that business. I had a few really successful businesses and then I got a bit complacent with future businesses and just launched straight into creating content without any kind of future plan for the business. I thought I knew it all and I didn't need a plan anymore. And the businesses that I failed to plan were always the businesses that failed. And another moment of realisation that really changed my life was this. If I'm not committed enough to my business to spend time planning its success, then I'm not committed enough to creating the success in my business. Therefore, it will fail because I will give up on it. Once I realized that creating a business plan or a business blueprint was directly responsible for the success or failure of my businesses, I never failed to create my blueprint for new businesses ever again. And if I was reluctant to even plan my business, that meant that this business was not the right business for me and I should find an idea for a business that I'm more committed to and that I'm excited to plan the details of. The last few businesses that I have started have been a really big success, so I've managed to put this to the test. And this doesn't just work for me, it also works amazingly well for everyone else who does it. Let me tell you that the reason for creating a plan is not just so you know what you're doing and know what you need to be creating. The main purpose of a plan is to get your mind in the right place. The real reason for planning is so that you can believe that your business is actually going to make it. Once you've invested your precious time into planning your business, you are now so committed to it. You feel a different level of determination to succeed. The more detailed the plan, the more committed you feel. And that commitment and drive is exactly what you need to keep going when you're not getting any results. Because you've planned the future, you know where you're headed. Once you have created that dream business blueprint, you will feel different and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about. You'll feel confident, successful, committed, secure, excited and full of peace and joy. The best thing about creating your dream business blueprint is how it changes you as a person because you start to believe in your business blueprint. You start to become the successful person that you need to be to make that dream a reality. I have grown in so many ways since I created my business blueprint because I actually believed it was going to happen and therefore I needed to become the person who needed to make that happen. Developing a new level of confidence makes you feel unstoppable and that is a feeling you just can't beat. And I never thought I would have the confidence to create videos and really put myself out there and it took me a really long time to even attempt at making my first video. 
Your business blueprint gives you the long-term vision of your business and you just end up stepping into your own vision. It is truly life-changing. Would you like to know how to plan your six to seven figure business in 30 days that fits your personality, desires and ideal lifestyle and make money from a brand new business even if you have no experience or product to sell? I am sharing all of my secrets in my free workshop. You can go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to access this free workshop and it's available to everybody immediately. There is no hoops to jump through. You don't have to wait for anything. You can watch it immediately and you can get the workbook that walks you through the process of creating your dream business and this is totally free. I'm giving away so much information for free on this video workshop that you won't want to miss out on this. So make sure you watch this training while it's still available. And now that you've heard my success story and how I managed to manifest my dream business in six months, you might be wondering how to set goals and what mistakes you've been making with your goal setting. So that's what I'm going to be sharing with you next time. I'm going to be sharing the details about how business owners need to be setting goals. So make sure you subscribe to my podcast and my YouTube channel and follow me on Instagram so you don't miss that. So remember, go to manifestbusinesssuccess.com to get my free workshop called How to Plan Your Dream Six-Figure Business in 30 Days. Until then, go and put your stamp on the world.